Okay, I have no idea where it is, but that's... Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Blake Damon here, and today I am playing the new character, Ilari. The map I'm playing her on is also for one of the new modes. It's called Flashpoint. I've never played this map before, I've never played this character before, so if I appear confused, it's probably because I am. So it looks like Junkrat killed me, probably because I wasn't really paying attention to what was happening on the right of me. And because of that lack of awareness, I was eliminated. So a quick reminder for everyone to look around, don't get tunnel vision, and live. I always get so lost in new maps. There's probably a quicker way to get to point A right now, but I don't know any of them. I think what makes these maps really confusing is the fact they're not linear like the other maps. It's a massive map with points randomly scattered everywhere. But again, I think we'll all get used to it over time. I must say, I really like this new hero's turrets. I think these were the same sort of turrets that people were maybe suggesting Symmetra have, but instead of giving them to Symmetra and then making her a support, instead they made a new character and gave them to her instead. I gotta say the objective percentages fill up really fast on these modes. I'm used to the usual way percentages go up on other modes. So it's always a surprise when we like that one, for example, we won quicker than I thought we should have. I thought I had Zarya's bubble on me. I did, but it didn't protect me, I guess. Or maybe it ran out or Zanyata might have burst it. I'm not sure. But that's the reason why I was so close. Because I thought I was invincible for a bit. So I guess my takeaway from this is probably not to rely too heavily on Zarya's bubble. Because it might pop in the most inconvenient time. Like when you're ulting, for example. Which is exactly what happened to me. I prefer the tree like this, actually. Yep. Yeah. Before it's like pointless. It was decorative. Very pretty thing. That's why I'm saying, like, soldiers, like, think it's like better. I think he and me and the Life Weaver were talking about Life Weaver's buff to his ult. I think now it has over health. So, according to Overwatch Wiki, once a hero reaches full health, the tree will convert 50% of its healing to over health for up to 100 health points per hero. And also, apparently, it can't be hacked or can't be cancelled with EMP. What? <laughs> it's not <laughs> it. <laughs> you probably thought it's finished. Not yet, Dals. Yeah, the fire altered when we capped off that last point. 
We suspect that, like with other modes, she thought it would be best two out of three. It's not. It's actually best three out of six. It is a bit strange, but I think with time, we'll all get used to it. So yeah, just remember when you're playing this mode, you need to capture three flashpoints before you can go ahead and waste your ult. I don't want to be in a small room. There's Jampra. Oh, they don't have Jampra anymore. They have a Reaper though, which is... Bye! What are we doing here? We're so far away. No, it's here. Yeah, so this hero has a very interesting ult. It's called Captive Sun, and at first I had no idea what was going on. I just knew that when I triggered the ult, I had to shoot something, and then after that point I had no idea why people were exploding, and, and yeah, it was very strange. But according to Overwatch Wiki, when you fire your ult, it will mark the people within the area of effect so that if they receive a total of 90 damage or are eliminated, they explode. And apparently it actually passes through barriers. So even if Reinhardt is standing in front of you, you can still shoot through him. So yeah, a really interesting ult for a support and one I'll definitely need to get used to using. Oh! Oh god. <laughs> yeah, sorry. They're all on now. Yeah, we died there because we obviously were the last two survivors of that team fight. And since we are supports, I think the enemy team was pretty keen on making sure that we were eliminated. I know if I were them, I would definitely be doing that. But I just hate it when it happens to me. I really liked how Zarya waited for us supports to spawn before she left. I like an escort service. I really like how this hero tells everyone to stay in range if they want her help. Because that's what I always want to say to my teammates when they wander off and complain to me about dying in the middle of nowhere by themselves. Sorry, Genji, but you gotta stay in range if you want my help. I hope it comes out as a voice line so I can spam it. Healing pile on the point. There, an enemy. Don't 
Thank you, that was perfectly timed. See, I didn't even realize we were that close to completing the third point. It's really fast. I guess that's why it's called Flashpoint. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Eos. Oh, it's ours. Yeah. I died here, I think.